welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for checking in with me today well in this video i'm going to show you how i take that wig which i'll leave all the details in the description below from just a big curly wig with not much shape to something nice and short and spicy a kind of fro walk more kind of thing going on you guys will see well this is what the wig looked like before i cut it it was like i wanted to wig like two or three times and i didn't really like it too much so my intention for this video was to cut it down a little bit and give it a little bit more of a shape so what i did is i put the wig on my 22 inch head i got this mannequin head from amazon.com i'll try to leave a link to that below and it's the 22 inches that's the perfect size of my head i really do have a big head guys yep i know it's okay but yeah what i initially wanted to do with this wig was just to cut it down a little bit take like two or three inches off it and that's what i'm doing there so what i did was i just cut it down going all the way around and you always want to make sure that when you're cutting curly hair you're holding the scissors at an angle so that way you don't end up with just straight blonde curls so you end up with something a little bit more tapered so that way it looks you know more uniform it looks better so that's what i did and i'll just keep turning the head back and forth just so you guys can see how I'm cutting and what I'm cutting so that's the first amount that I did cut off and then after that I just continue cutting so I'll let you guys watch and see how I cut it and what I end up with one thing you want to make sure that we always want to know where the back of the wig is because you don't want to cut it too low and cut off too much of it remember that you're going to need a little bit more length in the back just to cover up your little hairs in the back and things like that okay and that did another round of like two or three inches off you see like i'm doing there i did the same thing going all the way around and there yeah, and then that's what i end up with there i am feeling for the back just to make sure that i know where the back is and i'm not cutting it down too low then what i'm gonna do is try to like shape the back a little bit so i'm gonna go in at the sides but still leaving the length still leaving enough length to cover up my hair if that makes sense okay but i'm just gonna try to form a shape in the back so that when i put it on my head i kind of have a guide and know how to cut it down even more and then what i'm gonna do is just snatch it off the mannequin head and just put it onto mine now this unit do come with three clips two in the front one in the back I'm just gonna secure those clips onto my hair. The reason I have those two small corners in the front is because that's the, where this, the part would be, like the section of the wig in the front. So I just want it to lay really flat. So that's the reason why I put those two small corners there. And then I'm gonna continue the cutting process. Okay, so what I do is after I put it on, I just continue to cut it down even more. So I'm just gonna try to taper down the sides, especially a little bit more. So here you could see me cutting off like another inch to two or so off the hair, especially in the back. And now what I use as my guide is just to make sure that I cut out the section where my ears is so you could actually see my ears. And that's what I use as my guide. So I'm just going to cut away any hair that's there until my ears is like totally visible. And then I just continue to taper it down after I cut my ears out. Okay and what i did is i tried to keep the top a little bit more voluminous or a little bit more fluffy so i didn't cut down too much of the top but i made sure to like really cut down the sides as much as i could possibly cut it down without it looking without cutting too much so i'm just gonna continue cutting and shaping until i kind of get this wig to whatever to the vision that i had in my head at this point and yeah so you guys could just continue watching and you guys will see what i end up with after i finish cutting and shaping this wig okay
walked out, thought I was finished cutting. I went ahead and I put some curl activating mousse in my hair just to smooth it out, just to polish off everything, help to form the curls even better, especially towards the end where we did all this cutting. So that's what I did. And then I thought I was done cutting. But anyway, I also put some bobby pins in it just for extra security. You don't have to, but I mean, you know, it may get windy outside. And just in case, I want to make sure that this ain't going nowhere, honey. So I did put in a few pins. I may not show you how much I put in. But yeah, that's it. And then that's what the wig looked like before I went out and came back inside. I thought I was done cutting, but I just went out and came back. And I realized that I kind of want something like a little bang right here instead of having it like this. Kind of look, you no. Know, I just want to cut a little bit. That's it. I don't like the way it really looks like that. So what I'm going to do is just... I'm not going to cut it big chunks like I was going scissors happy in the rest of it. I'm just going to do it like, you know, a little... Strong by strong. Or section by section. Type thing. But Remember when you're cutting curls? want to hold it especially for the back area right here you want to like you're pulling on it so you want to cut it like right here like really short because when you let it go it's going to shrink back up I don't know what I'm doing but I'm still scissors happy with this here so I'm still cutting I think I like this better now. You know, it kind of look a little bit better. One of my friends told me I was looking like somebody mama, and I'm not trying to look like nobody mama yet. So, you know, I'll make it look a little bit less like somebody's mama. Yes. Now I ain't looking like nobody's mama. So this is the finished look. I think I'm done now. I'm not cutting anymore. You know. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And while you're at it, I hope you guys don't mind checking out a few of my other uploads. And yeah. Don't forget to thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know you like this style. But yeah. I really like this. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.